I've talked about this before. I will tell you vulnerably and honestly one of the most difficult pieces to Samantha and I's recovery was the sexual intimacy part. If you're early on in your recovery and you don't want to talk about these things, you'll probably want to turn this, this blog off. I will tell you it was the most difficult piece. Uh, Samantha, she had an incredible amount of reminders and triggers and struggles just in, in general, but when it came to the sexual component of recovery, it was hellacious. The most challenging facet of reconnecting for us was being physically intimate. And I'm, I'm not blowing this up. I mean, I'm telling you the God's honest truth. From moments like her having to stop just even early on in, you know, petting and foreplay and things like that to have to retreat to another room to pray and self-soothe and calm her heart rate to starting to be physically intimate but having to stop and then not being able to follow through with it that night but having to try again. Um, to being, to, I don't know if you feel this way, but I felt like we were in two different galaxies, not states, not countries, like galaxies, like I was here and she was here and it was just a fiasco. It really was. I say it this way. It was like I was wanting sex for all the wrong reasons and she was avoiding sex for all the wrong reasons. I spent more time talking to Rick on the phone and in person about the sexual component than I think any other component. And now, Samantha would agree with that statement. So I don't want you to get the picture that all I wanted to do was have sex. No. There was other components to our recovery that were challenging, but this was the most difficult to see growth and healing and restoration to. That's just the God's honest truth. Now, I need you to know the backdrop was Samantha came from a pretty immoral background before she was married, as was I, far more with me. And early on in our marriage, sex really was pretty easy and it, it, it was great. And then this little thing happened one day where she got pregnant. And she had horrible pregnancies. I'm talking being bedridden for six months out of the nine months. I mean, it was really difficult, most of all for her, but then it became difficult on us just for the marriage, for work, for ministry, for the second and third kid when they came along. And when that happened, it changed things. And we read some books. We got some help from some people who knew enough to just mess us up more. And it, it was a nightmare. And I'm happy to tell you today, I'm honored, in fact, to tell you today that our, the physical component of our sex life, the, the entirety of our sexual relationship has been healed and restored to a point that I never thought it would be. That's the truth. I'll, I'll tell you a story. I was on a swing in my backyard one day talking to Rick because I couldn't get in to see him, and I was telling him, I don't know that we're ever going to get through this, Rick. And he was telling me, no, you will, you will, it's going to be okay, boom, boom, boom. But I, in my mind, I literally did not believe that we could ever get to the point that we're at right now as a couple sexually. Another part of the backdrop is, though, Rick and I had some pretty significant fights. Like, I don't know if you're like this, but I thought that I knew more than Rick in terms of how to make this marriage be healed, and if... Samantha would just have more sex, or if Samantha would just do this, it would be a lot better. Yep, said that. I even fought Rick, at the time was 20 some odd, maybe 25 or 22, I don't know, years of experience, and me, the idiot, was trying to tell him how, no, Rick, I don't agree with that, I think that you're wrong, and having to learn the hard way that he was right all along. I'm really excited to tell you about something that... I really believe for a large amount of you is going to be a great opportunity. A 
The Fair Recovery is going to be putting on a sex and intimacy seminar uh, here locally in the Austin area. Now, I need to, to kind of give you a disclaimer here. This is not going to be an infidelity-related sex and intimacy seminar. It's just going to be a sex and intimacy seminar. If you are early on in your recovery, I don't know that you're going to want to come. I just don't. Um, our, our team and Rick has asked me to tell you that it's really going to be best for those who have gone through EMS Weekend or our EMS Online um, program, or you've had a great therapist that's very skilled in infidelity and that you are in a great place. This is not going to be, oh, we're in such a great place. Now if we go to this, we're going to be a train wreck. Absolutely not. This is only going to help you, and I will tell you from experience that John and Rick uh, and Wayne are going to, those are all therapists that actually come to our EMS weekend as well. They are going to be sharing with you some of the very things that I fought against, some of the very things that I raved at and thought, absolutely, that makes so much sense. At the seminar, you'll be hearing from men and women who are expert therapists, who have been through infidelity before, but are experts. Some of them are actually certified uh, sex addiction specialists. This isn't just for individuals. This is for couples. It's going to be specifically for the sexual component of your marriage. It's not going to be an infidelity specific environment, but if you're in a good place and if you feel like you and your spouse maybe have healed from the infidelity, but the sexual component is really difficult, it's perfect for you. I've looked over some of the material. I, I know the therapist personally. I'll be there. Uh, I can't wait for it because it's a lot of the information that I read early on that absolutely transformed the way I saw the sexuality of myself as well as Samantha. I'll be real vulnerable with you. There were some things that happened in my life when I was very young that I just didn't understand. I didn't understand them. I didn't know how to make sense of them. I didn't want to talk about them. And I, I now understand how they affected the way that I used to be sexually before Samantha and during my affair and early on in our sexual recovery. And there were some things that Samantha didn't know how to make sense of until we got the help that we have received from the very therapist that will be there this weekend. It has transformed us in a way that I'm honored to say, and I'm, I'm humbled at what an idiot I was 11 some odd years ago, to think that we could never get to the point that we're at now. And I will tell you, Samantha and I are more fulfilled, more secure, more uh, happy than we've ever been with the sexual component of our lives. Now, I'll be honest with you. You may be as messed up as we were. You may be more messed up than we were. Or you may not necessarily that be that messed up at all and you may not come from a difficult background sexually, you're still going to have an incredible time as a couple with experts who will be helping you understand why maybe it's been so difficult for you both or understand why it's been so difficult for you. Maybe you need a greater understanding of why you view sex the way you do. Maybe you need a, a, a change or a shift in the way you see your role in uh, your spouse's life and vice versa. I don't know. Maybe you are in a good place, but your spouse is not. Man, bring him or her with you to this seminar because I'm really excited about it because I know what these therapists did for us, and I absolutely know what they can do for you. Time and time again, I hear from people, man, I don't want to go to an EMS weekend and sit and be there and talk about all, the, uh, uh, all these unfaithful spouses and all their stuff and all that. Good. This is what 
that will not be like. This is going to be an opportunity for you to come and sit around and, and be with other couples who are in a good place who are wanting to understand how do we take our sex life from where we are at now to where it can be as you face issues like life, kids, dysfunction, addiction, uh, confusion, or trauma from when you were a child or a young adult or what have you. This is all about healing the sexuality of your life as an individual and as a couple. So if you have any questions about it, message me on the site. There should be a link just below where comments are where you can actually view the web page. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to go fast, uh, but I would love for you to come and meet me and meet the other therapists and just experience the healing that you probably need uh, in your marriage.